Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 1988 Christmas action movie, Die Hard. So let's get started. The film opens on Christmas Eve, with NYPD detective John McClane arriving in Los Angeles, trying to reconcile with his estranged wife, Holly, at a Christmas party at Nakatomi Tower. McClane is drove to the party by a limo driver, Argyle. While McLean is changing his clothes, the party is interrupted by a German terrorist, Hans Gruber, and his heavily armed team. Everyone in the tower is held hostage, except McLean and Argyle. Gruber interrogates a Nakatomi executive to get the code for the building's vault, but the executive refuses and is killed. McLean witnesses this and gives himself away, but is able to escape. McLean begins a cat and mouse game with the terrorists, having one almost discover him and then killing them and repeating this. McLean secures a radio and gets in touch with Sergeant Al Powell from the LAPD, and the two coordinate attacks via the radio. McLean also takes the C4 explosives and detonators, and uses some of them to kill terrorists that are shooting at SWAT vehicles. A Nakatomi executive tries to mediate a deal between McLean and Gruber, but McLean refuses and the employee is killed. Gruber encounters McLean, but Gruber pretends to be a hostage. A scuffle happens and McLean escapes. The FBI cuts off the power, which Gruber wanted as it disables the final lock on the building's vault. Gruber demands a helicopter be brought, but plans to detonate explosives on the roof to fake their death so they can escape. Gruber figures out that Holly is McLean's wife because of a careless news reporter and threatens to use her against McLean. Gruber triggers the roof's explosives. A terrorist shows up with the getaway vehicle, an ambulance, however Argyle hits the ambulance with his limo. McLean offers to surrender to Gruber to save Holly, but he has a pistol taped to his back. He kills one of the terrorists and injures Gruber. Gruber falls through the window but grabs onto Holly, then McLean removes her watch, causing Gruber to fall to his death. Outside, McLean and Holly meet Powell. A terrorist emerges and tries to shoot McLean, but is killed by Powell. The news reporter who gave up Holly comes up and attempts to interview them, but Holly punches him for putting them in danger. As the film ends, Holly and McLean leave together in Argyle's limo. So that was the spoilers for Die Hard. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out Movie Spoiler Alerts on Instagram, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.